Some countries are big, some small. Singapore is small and modestly insists on it. But in a more important sense, it is a big country, even a power, but of the best kind. By its example of material progress and prosperity, starting with next to nothing, of equity and citizens' access to public goods, and the sea green incorruptibility of its public officials from highest to the lowest, and therefore in good governance, Singapore quickly achieved the status of enviable global example. In this pandemic, Singapore showed the way for governments to handle it. Rather than promise more than is possible, given the startling novelty and virulence of the virus, it immediately went to work to contain the contagion armed with common sense and such capacity as it had to trace and block off its further advance and address its inroads but always in the spirit of transparent experimentation so that none be misled to complacency, rather than with the boastful air of knowing it all while really knowing nothing. Singapore therefore succeeded step by step, which is the only way to go to meet a strange new threat. Right at the onset of the pandemic, Singapore joined Germany, Jordan, Ethiopia, and Ecuador in calling attention to the global threat of COVID-19 and the global challenge of arriving at a just and fair, which is to say, a humane global response. They called for the widest and most substantive cooperation of all countries leading the search and research, the development and deployment of possible COVID cures and vaccine, and for sharing the knowledge and committing without qualification or purpose of evasion to the most comprehensive universal access to whatever effective discoveries may result. Singapore chairs the friends of the COVAX facility at the WHO. It was a prescient appeal. The race to find cures and vaccines is becoming an arms race for the promise and threat of global advantage, if not domination. Where once powers threatened extinction, some may be tempted to deny the means to avoid extinction to those who will not submit to their will. There are many ways to celebrate a national day, but only one way to do it honor, by showing how a nation born on that day made the best use of a life thus far distinguished by unfailing performance. So in the end, it is not size that matters, but what you do with what you have. Singapore has done, as it likes to say modestly, quite well, just with itself, but far more than others with more. Thank you, Singapore.